Have you ever wondered what it takes to create an armored vehicle that combines the power of a tank with the ability to carry infantry to the front lines? The Swedish CV-90 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, is one of the most advanced machines of its kind, and its story is packed with innovation, challenges, and triumphs. From the cold, snowy plains of Sweden to the harsh deserts of Afghanistan, this vehicle has seen it all. But how did the CV-90 come to be, and what makes it stand out in a world full of armored giants? Stick with us as we dive into the history, design, and legacy of one of the most fascinating military vehicles ever built. By the end of this video, you'll see why the CV-90 is truly a masterpiece of modern warfare. The story of the CV-90 begins in the early 1980s, when the Swedish military recognized the need for a modern vehicle that could not only protect its troops but also transport them safely into combat. At the time, other nations were developing their own infantry fighting vehicles, but Sweden wanted something that would combine both speed and protection, something that could maneuver in the harshest environments and provide firepower to its infantry. This marked the beginning of a journey that would result in one of the most advanced IFVs in the world. The Swedish army set out with specific goals, mobility, protection, and firepower. They needed a vehicle that could go anywhere, from the snowy forests of Scandinavia to the rugged hills of foreign battlegrounds. They also needed it to carry troops in safety while still being able to provide support with weapons. This idea of combining a light tank with the capacity to carry soldiers was revolutionary. It would be a game-changer in how armies would think about infantry support. To bring this vision to life, two companies, Bofors Defense and Haglunds and Sonar, joined forces in 1985 to form HB at Veckling, a company dedicated to developing the new vehicle. This collaboration was a brilliant fusion of expertise in both weapon systems and vehicle engineering. They worked together to build several test models, each one refining and improving on the last. The goal was clear, create a vehicle that could seamlessly integrate into the Swedish military and become a versatile tool for infantry operations. By 1988, after rigorous trials and evaluations, the Swedish army was ready to move forward with the vehicle. Five pilot vehicles were built, and these were tested in various conditions. Everything, from the vehicle's speed to its armor and weaponry, was scrutinized. After successfully passing these evaluations, the vehicle was formally accepted for production in 1991 and would be known as the CV-90, short for Combat Vehicle 90. The CV-90 was an immediate success. Production began in 1993, and over the years, it evolved with various upgrades. By 2013, more than 1,125 units have been produced, making it one of the most widely used IFVs in Sweden's military arsenal. However, this success wasn't just due to its advanced technology, it was also a testament to the way Swedish engineers had thought about every single detail, from the vehicle's appearance to its performance in combat. Outwardly, the CV-90 is a sleek, compact machine, designed to have minimal visual presence on the battlefield. Its sloped glassy plate gives it a low profile, making it harder to target from a distance. This design choice was crucial. By reducing the vehicle's silhouette, it minimized the chances of being hit by incoming fire. The thin armor skirts along the sides and the shape of the hull all contribute to its defensive capability. But looks aren't everything. The CV-90's real strength lies in what's inside. Inside, the CV-90 can carry up to eight infantry soldiers, who sit facing the center of the vehicle. This layout allows them to quickly dismount and take cover once the vehicle reaches its destination. The driver, commander, and gunner form the core crew, with the driver positioned at the front left of the vehicle. The engine is positioned to the right, leaving space in the middle and rear for the turret and the passengers. There's even an option for soldiers to fire from hatches on the roof, offering additional fire support in combat. What really sets the CV-90 apart is its firepower. It comes equipped with a powerful autocannon that can engage a wide range of targets, from infantry to light vehicles and even helicopters. The CV-90's turret is capable of rotating a full 360 degrees, allowing it to engage targets from any angle without having to reposition the entire vehicle. A coaxial machine gun provides additional support, while six smoke grenade dischargers offer the vehicle a way to create cover in the heat of battle. This combination of offensive capability and defensive measures makes the CV-90 a formidable presence on any battlefield. The heart of the CV-90 is its engine, a Scania V8 diesel that delivers between 550 and 810 horsepower, depending on the model. This power gives the CV-90 impressive speed, up to 44 miles per hour on roads, and it can travel over 200 miles on a single tank of fuel. But it's not just about speed, 
Its advanced suspension system ensures that it can handle rough terrain, from rocky hills to muddy fields, with ease. This makes the CV-90 a versatile machine, able to keep pace with infantry in all kinds of environments. As the CV-90 evolved, it was not just the Swedish army that took notice. Other nations recognized the vehicle's capabilities and began to order their own versions. The export variants, such as the CV-9030 and CV-9035, have been used by several countries, including Norway, Denmark, and Switzerland. In fact, by 2013, Sweden remained the largest operator of the CV-90, with 551 vehicles in service, while other countries like Switzerland and Norway followed with smaller but significant numbers. The CV-90's combat debut came in 2007, when Norwegian units deployed it to Afghanistan as part of a UN peacekeeping mission. In the harsh terrain of Afghanistan, where mines and IEDs posed constant threats, the CV-90 proved its worth. It could navigate treacherous paths while providing fire support and protecting its troops. The vehicle's resilience to IEDs and its ability to operate in high temperatures made it a valuable asset during the mission. Although not invulnerable, the CV-90 was instrumental in reducing casualties and improving the effectiveness of the peacekeeping force. But the CV-90 wasn't done yet. In 2018, the Swedish Mark IV variant of the CV-90 entered the competition to replace the U.S. Army's aging M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This newer version boasts enhanced performance, including an upgraded engine, active damping technology for improved off-road performance, and a new turret that can be optionally unmanned. These improvements highlight the CV-90's continuing evolution, ensuring that it remains relevant in the face of modern warfare. The CV-90's legacy is one of constant innovation. It's a vehicle that adapts to changing combat environments, evolves with the latest technology, and remains a crucial part of Sweden's military strategy. Its ability to combine mobility, protection, and firepower has made it one of the most successful IFVs in the world, and its story is far from over. Whether on the frozen plains of Scandinavia, the deserts of the Middle East, or the forests of Europe, the CV-90 continues to play a key role in military operations. It's not just a machine, it's a symbol of Swedish ingenuity and military might. If you've enjoyed learning about the incredible story of the CV-90, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more fascinating military history content. Like the video if you want to see more amazing machines in action, and drop a comment below telling us what you think of the CV-90's design and combat performance. Your feedback helps us create even more exciting stories that you'll love. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.